Dome Sports Talk worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, we've been keeping the heavyweights lately. Matter of fact, I ain't really done nothing about nothing else, really. Right? <laughs> you know, because the heavyweights going down with the negotiations with uh, uh, Andy Ruiz Jr. and Anthony Joshua. Actually, the fight been confirmed, hasn't it? December 7th, Saudi Arabia. Some people like it, some don't. Most don't. You know, we should be there. We should be there. We're worried about that. But come to find out, we got something else to worry about. Right? Because <laughs> Andy Ruiz Jr. ain't signed in for that. Right? Because he's supposed to be making about $9 million for this. And, you know, Joshua's supposed to be making about $40 million. Whatever. He don't like it. He wants significantly more money. Right? So we ain't signed on yet. So, you know, I've seen posters and stuff popping off already. Mm-mm. Slow down. Andy Ruiz ain't signed for that yet. You know, might not like the venue either. Who knows what's, what it is going, going forward on that. Uh, but the signature's not there. So we do have some stuff to be worried about. That fight ain't on. So we can't just smile yet. Right? You know, but listen. You know, you, it's pros and cons all over for that situation. You know what I mean? All over the place. Right? One thing is this, though. If you, they had a rematch clause, obviously, right? Because he was a replacement for Jarrell Miller. So, you know, champion should have a rematch clause. That's why I'm a champion and you're not. I'm giving you a shot. So if this was stated in the in the rematch clause, then it is what it is, right? Just go on and do it. It's life-changing money, right? You got about four or five million in the first fight. Get nine million in this fight, you know, and you can't worry about what he getting. Because he already established. That's what it is. He gave you the shot. So that's one thing you have to keep in the forefront. No matter what you think, who you like. Right? Because at the end of the day, you're doing well. Changed mom's life. Did everything. Go in here, beat him again. Then you don't have to worry about him anymore. Which we'll get to. Right? You don't have to worry about him anymore. From there on, there's only big fights for Nandy Ruiz Jr. After that, he can do a unification with Deontay Wilder. He could, uh... Uh, give the trilogy to Anthony Joshua. Well, he's totally the A-side at that point. And, you know, then you go to England because they'll still pay for it after Anthony Joshua pay, lost twice. You know, so those, those are options. And one I kind of, you know, if I'm looking at Tyson Fury fight, whoever, uh, Alter Wallen and Tom Swartz, you going to tell me that Andy Ruiz Jr. and uh, a rejuvenated Chris Ariola ain't a little uh, a voluntary just for Mexicans to throw down a little bit, I feel that fight. Chris Ariel looked pretty good. Randy Ruiz can give him a shot or whatever as a, you know, as a little warm up or something. But it'd still be a little significant. Somebody was gonna watch that. Mexicans are for show, right? So things like that he can do after the fight. If it was in the rematch clause, no matter what I say going forward, that's a point, right? Rematch clause. That's what it is. After that, then you you out of it. Beat him twice. You good to go. Matter of fact, and you lose barely, and you still good to go. You know what I mean? So that's that. You know what I mean? But um, on the flip side of that, Andy Joshua needs to fight. I'm repeating myself, but it is. Anthony Joshua needs to fight more than Andy Ruiz Jr. That's the bottom line here. Andy Ruiz Jr. can be like, well, whatever. Strip me. I don't care. I'll go fight somebody else because I'm still the guy to beat Anthony Joshua. And if all them belts are vacated, that's how he got them the first time. Who cares? He can he has some leverage, guys. Okay, because <laughs> he could be like, well, whatever with that situation. I'm not. I don't. You know, y'all gonna pay me more. Period. I know what was in the contracts. Contracts I don't like anyway nowadays because contracts don't mean nothing. So since they don't mean nothing in all sports, and it don't mean nothing here. I want more money. And whatever, you know. So he he does have the fact that Anthony Joshua needs to fight more than he does, right? And the fact that Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn are always in negotiations and it's always problems. Everyone knows the De Deontay Wilder saga, right? Even Dillian White, Lewis Ortiz sagas. This saga's all over the place where people are not being lowballed and, you know, not being treated fairly because, you know, Joshua's the eighth side and all of these things, right? So don't let this be another one, <laughs> right? Don't let this be another one. Because the chance of Joshua falling completely and you needing people and you have to call those same people that you were treating indifferently, to put it lightly, you got to make that call to them, talking about some other stuff, 
right? In the new prospects, right? And you didn't your B side. So that's the problem with that. That's why I think they should, you know, try to make this thing happen, right? You know, that they should make it happen. I'm saying that right. But at the end of the day, if you keep acting this way with negotiation, I'm talking to AJ and, and uh, Eddie Hearn here. You know, this could be your good riddance fight. You know what I mean? Like, good riddance. Man, just whatever. Ed Johnson gets beat and nobody wants to deal with you. You know? So, therefore, the negotiations, you know, they should be you know, figuring out what they should do in terms of trying to get the man some more money and listening to what he has to say. But, you know, like I said before, but if it's in if it was in the rematch clause, then you have you have that, too. So that's why I'm saying it's pros and cons. I was happy that we getting the, we got the fight when I thought it was confirmed. I didn't care where it was because I know, and you guys too, how hard it is to make these damn fights, man. Stuff start getting in the way all the time. You know, how many times we wait for fights, man. So when they get signed, you know, you get happy a little bit because you know things like this can be a stumbling block because I just, you know, illustrated why both people have a good point here. You know what I mean? So let's see what it is going forward. But up until now, Andy Ruiz Jr. ain't signed for that nine million in Saudi Arabia. So we gotta put the brakes on that. Doing sports talk worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.